Chris, tell me a little bit about why are you running? Well, I developed a big passion for community over the past probably five years. And this was kind of my next step into that passion. Um, I saw a need and I stepped up to learn what it takes to run a campaign and be a county commissioner. Tell me, what are your priorities? Uh, my priorities are community, inclusivity, and transparency. Perfect. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me a little bit about like who are you, like what things you like to do, places you like to go. Just tell me a little bit about you personally. So I am 31 years old. I started my career in the CAD and um, CNC programming space. Um, and then that developed into the brewing career that I've had for the past five years. Um, I, for fun, <laughs> I play soccer. I'm just getting into pickleball. Um, it, it's really a lot of community-based things, team-based. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what else about me? Um, My favorite color is purple. <laughs> um, uh, the, then explain to me why should people vote for you? I am a real community member. I bring a perspective of the working class and I'm not driven by the national politics. Um, I'm driven by what our community needs. I and. I I like to say I'm a problem solver, but I know that's kind of a buzzword. Um, but it's it's really what I do. I you know I see a problem, I'm like, okay, how do we how do we go about fixing this? This is something that we were taught in year one of engineering college. Um, it's just you know you. I see a lot of politicians get attached to their first idea and never explore other options. So it's always this or that instead of, okay, well, neither of these are great, I great solutions. Let's, let's dig deeper. Let's find something that, a solution that's inclusive for everyone. Um, tell me what has been your thoughts of uh, the past year and a half to two years when it comes to how Ottawa County government has been run? Well, I think it comes down to the national politics have been brought into county politics where it doesn't belong. Um, and it's, it's radicalized, you know, these Ottawa impact candidates, they believe that their rights are being attacked. Their right to be a Christian is being attacked. Their right to parental control is being attacked. And it's just not actually happening. Uh, if you listen to the, you know, the big um, news stations every day and that's all you hear, you're probably going to believe that. And I understand that. That's how propaganda works. But, you know, on a local level, that's, that's not what's happening. You know, I'm running as a Democrat, but I, it, I'd really class my, myself as an independent. Um, just running under the umbrella of the Democrat Party. Um, I just, we need real people in local government. Uh, to kind of get a follow up of um, some of the answers you provided, uh, you, said, you said community quite a bit, so explain to me what did you mean by that in some form or fashion? So a lot of, I perceive a lot of problems that government tries to solve as, you know, things that could be solved through promoting community. So one of the things that I like, I complain to my dad about is like, why does every house in our neighborhood have to have 
a ride on lawnmower and their own shed and every tool to do every job. Doesn't this seem incredibly wasteful and something that community could come together to do something about? And I think that mentality can be brought to the local level to provide services for the, our county. Like, for instance, the, like, uh, some large employers in Ottawa County came to the county and asked for DEI services. And then that the county found a way to make that happen. And we provided those services, services instead of every company having to have their own department for this, there was a resource that was, you know, there for them that builds a better economy for our whole county and is more attractive to more business coming in. But then the politics around those three letters got it taken away. So would you want to see the DEI department brought back? Yes. Why? Just because of that? Well, that that's a large reason, but also the idea of getting rid of it because of those politics, it, you know, there's so many other services that that department can do other than the services for our industry. Like I worked in um, as the token white boy in the breweries at Tulip City Distillery with people who grew up in Holland not looking like this. Um, and the the struggles they go through, you would never understand. There's so many, you know, microaggressions that I would never think of had I not watched it happen at the bar and had it pointed out to me. It's everyone could benefit from a DEI class. I truly believe that. Um, talking about inclusivity, transparency, how do you, how would you, um, I guess with inclusivity to bring the DEI to, how would you further transparency in Ottawa County? Well, I mean, I think there's a lot to be said for just being out in the community and talking about what's going on because there is a disconnect between politicians and constituents. Um, and I know that's a, a big problem that everyone's always trying to solve, but I, I'm out there in the community every day. I'm going to be out there hitting every single door this summer and I'm going to, I'm doing what I'm calling uh, campfire chats where I find someone in as many neighborhoods in the district that I can and just show up with a, one of those solo stove campfire pits and hot dogs and s'mores and just be there and available to talk about what's going on. Maybe bring flyers from the county about what kind of new services or you know things that we can provide and then if a resident has a question about something and I can go get the answers and come back to them you know that's a big part of what I think commissioners should be doing but I don't ever see that happening. You're talking about a lot of national politics have made their way in or into uh, our local level so what national politics would you say you're seeing a lot of? Well, I see the, the Christian nationalism. Um, that's, I think, my biggest concern. Um, even some of the candidates that aren't running as Ottawa Impact are still bought into the David Bartons of the world um, who are propagating the, the idea that the United States was founded on solely Christian ideas, ideals. And it's just, it's not true and it's not, it, it doesn't promote a healthy community if you're just going to promote Christianity. And that's coming from me 
as a Christian. <laughs> so like, I don't want this to get to the point where the state's going to tell me how to be a Christian. And that's where this leads. So that's one of the big national politics that I see coming into the county. Uh, you mentioned when, I was, when we were asking about you, like personally, you said you're a CAD, you did CAD and CNC, what are those? Uh, computer aided design, it's like, uh, like drawings for blueprints and stuff. Hmm. Um, and then CNC programming is uh, when you take those drawings and then have a machine cut them out. Okay. Okay. Was, I didn't know that. The other yeah. So that's awesome. Curious. Um, how would you bring problem solving, your problem solving to Ottawa County? So I like researching things. <laughs> I like to know how things work. And in order to solve any problem, you need to know how they work, how government works, how the law works. Um, and I, I didn't see this past board do any of that research. They came in and started doing things they weren't allowed to do. It opened us to a lot of lawsuits. Um, and there wasn't a lot being done to be inclusive in your um, in the decision making. I hit every point I can think of it at this moment. Uh, Chris, is there anything else you'd like to add in? Other than to go to my website. <laughs> Perfect.